Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Willow Oak. I am here to do a reading for you for the month of July. It's a general reading, so please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. Okay. You might check your other placements, sun, moon, rising, and maybe Venus for a more complete picture or if this reading doesn't resonate with you. Okay. And use your intuition to help you figure this out, all right? So let's get a spirit animal for the month. Oh, beautiful. You have the spire spirit. Make your dreams real. It's absolutely beautiful. So this is saying if there's something that you are wanting to do, something that you dream about, then bring it to life. Okay? Let's get a card from the Wisdom of the Oracle. see what they would like to share. And if you like this reading, please give it a like, share, subscribe, leave comments. It all really does make a difference and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Another wonderful card. You have Treasure Island. This is where, you know, like your dreams are coming true. <laughs> so you put these two together, make your dreams real and Treasure Island. This looks like it's going to be a good time. Or definitely the potential for a good time. You know, this is, um, it's all up to you. You know, how you go forward. Okay, let's see what your overall energy is for the month. And time being fluid, which it is, this can extend out some. see what we have. Wise Counselor. Unity with the spiritually minded community. Ask the divine for help and trust the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. Okay. Beautiful. Um, connect with your spirituality. Okay, you have ancestors, family members, friends that are on the other side that watch over you and want to help. You also have angels that want to help. The divine wants to help. So all you have to do is ask, okay? And they are here for you. And also it's talking about something during the month and it could very well have to do with making your dreams real you know compare traditional methods with the new novel and see what works best for you okay let's go ahead and get one more oracle card and then we will go into the tarot and this oracle card might very well um, have some sort of an impact it doesn't have to or it could be um, some advice it, it's supposed to go with your overall energy so let's see what we get self love beautiful now is the time to love nurture and heal yourself Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your mind, body, and soul. This is absolutely beautiful. So this month, I mean at all time you should, but especially this month, make yourself a priority, okay? And that doesn't say Others aren't a priority, but make yourself as important as the people that you love and care about, okay? It will serve you well. And, you know, here, which is best for you. All right. Beautiful. So let's go into the tarot and see what it would like to share.
Okay. Yeah, it looks like there are going to be some very good things coming this month by the Oracle cards. But you do need to make yourself a priority. And that's a good thing, by the way. Mm -hmm. Taking care of yourself, you know, eating right, that sort of thing, exercising, and unity with a spiritually minded community. That could be you yourself and the spiritual side, or actually getting together with people that you know are of like mind. A tower. Very first card out. Mm -hmm. Now towers can be small, tiny, or really large, self-imposed, brought on by another or a situation, um, challenging, really positive. The one thing all towers have in common is that they tend to be abrupt. You know, things happen quickly. Okay? And yes, we are going to take clarifying cards. But all your cards so far, and we've just started, are really beautiful. Oops. We've got to pick this up. It just fell. Okay. Oh. We have the Five of Pentacles. This deck, I love the way they have done the illustration because it makes perfect sense. This is talking about you. And you see how she is positioned. You know, being very upset, feeling alone, um, maybe desolate. Uh, lots of challenging energies. Depression. It could be anything is challenging. And since this is a general reading, you will know. But what I really love about this image is this is a door. And here's the key. You can get out of this energy anytime you choose. Okay? These are emotions and thoughts that you have. Right? And um, the way this happens sometimes is... You know, we don't pay attention to our thoughts a lot of times. And if challenging things have been happening, a lot of negative thoughts will come in. And sometimes it will snowball, and it ends up that the challenging thoughts are overriding your neutral and positive thoughts, and they kind of take control, and you end up like this. So, be aware of your thoughts, okay? Pay attention to what you're thinking about. And if you're having challenging thoughts, what are they about? Is it something that you, you know, that's real that you can remedy? If so, fix it. And if it's just negative thoughts that are creeping in, like doubts, fears, things like that, replace those with something positive, okay? Like have a mantra. Um, I have one that I say I am happy I'm calm, I'm stress-free. And you can change it anytime you want. But if a challenging thought comes in, put this into practice. You do have to be aware of your thoughts, but in a short period of time, it becomes natural. Okay? So maybe that's why this card is here, because it looks like you're going through a challenging time. But it all depends on where you are in this. You know, maybe the challenging time is over. Maybe it hasn't begun. But if it has not begun, don't let it begin, right? Be in control of your thoughts. Okay. You have the Two of Wands. This is a very good energy. This is where there is something that you're wanting to start. Something you're wanting to do. And you are in the planning stages of how you're going to go about this. And you might very well be leaving something behind, which I'm sure is this. Okay? And what you're starting might very well be this. Self-love. Do good things for yourself, right? Okay, let's get another card. what would like to come out. Okay. 
beautiful. Here you have the Queen of Wands. You see that energy? Yeah, it's beautiful. The Queen of Wands is very passionate about something and she's going to go for it. And she's unafraid to speak up and be heard, which is something I really like about this energy. And if you look, the Two of Wands, where you're planning on going forward, is looking straight at the Queen of Wands, who's very passionate about something and goes for what she wants. So, you, it looks like, are going to be going for your passion, which, hopefully, includes this. And you have the Eight of Cups. And what this says is you've done all you can in some aspect of your life, right? It is time to leave that behind and go for your sunrise. Your sunrise is where your happiness is, the love where you feel complete and whole. It's a beautiful thing to do, okay? So it looks like something is either currently going on, did happen, where it is time to put an end to it. Mm -hmm. It is time to go forward, love yourself, get in touch with your spiritual side. Yeah, it looks like this reading is definitely telling a story. Mm -hmm. Now let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Ah, choices. Yeah. Okay. Here you have choices. And say you know exactly what it is that you want to do. Right? Well, then the choices are pretty easy, right? But look at the look on his face. He's trying to figure out what are the best choices. So, if that is what's going on, that you're trying to figure out the best ones and you're a little uncertain, make for sure you do your research, okay? Because there are times when every one of the choices that you're thinking about um, has a lot of positivity with it, a lot of merit to it. And then there are other times when it might just be one or two choices that are good and the rest of them not so much. And you want to make for sure that you pick the choice or choices that are best for you, okay? So if you need to do research, then that's exactly what you should do, okay? Yeah, it looks like this is definitely telling a story. Mm hmm Okay, let's get some more, and then we will clarify. Absolutely beautiful. This is one of the very best cards in the deck. This is a Ten of Pentacles. This is a card of you and the people that you love and care about being very happy and content with your pentacles and very happy in general. This is where you can leave a legacy for generations to come if you'd like. Okay? And it's coming out right underneath the tower. So I would have to say... This tower is beneficial to you, okay? Because here, life is beautiful. Mm -hmm. So much so that you can extend it out for a long time to come. Okay, now let's get another card. Oops, or two. Okay, these two came out together, so we'll put them together here. Here, you know, of course, is you, your mind, emotions, being filled with lots of challenges. But you can get out of it anytime you choose. Here is the moon. And the moon can have hidden aspects to it, things that you don't see, right? But it's also telling you, you need to use your intuition because your intuition will guide you correctly. It is here to help you. All right, and it's what you feed. If you feed the good side, it will grow. 
If you feed the bad side, it will grow. Whichever side you do not feed will wither and die. Remember me talking about the thoughts and emotions? This totally is on target with that. Feed the good side. Don't let those negative thoughts and emotions take you over. Okay? And then you have an ending. And this ending, um, there's a couple things with it. One, it can have challenging emotions. That's what these swords are. Thoughts, right? But it also can be dropping all of the burdens. So it looks like this is going to go away, right? Feed the good side. It's all up to you. Feed the good side. Get control of your thoughts, and it will create an end to this. So what you do with this is you get up, you shake off those swords, and you see this stripe of yellow here. That's a sunrise. Over here, sunrise. You get up and you go to your sunrise. So it has a few meanings. One, like I said, there can be an emotional involvement where you need to heal. But the other is you're going to be dropping all the burdens. And it looks like they are the challenging thoughts. And remember here, feed the good side, right? Okay. Let's get another card. Or two. Whatever the universe would like to share. Page of Pentacles. This has come out so much. Okay, the Page of Pentacles is a youthful energy. It's a learning energy. And it's got nothing to do with your chronological age. It's got to do with you learning about something, right? And a lot of these cards are about you making yourself a priority, treating yourself well. And if you're not used to that, then you'll have to learn about it. Now, this is also a learning energy that is about pentacles. So it could be wanting to start something new that has to do with pentacles, right? Which could be finances, uh, career, entrepreneurship, job, those sorts of things. But it doesn't have to. But it is learning, okay, and wanting to start something new. Okay, let's get... Another card. All right. Beautiful. Here you have a celebration. And this particular celebration is more of a formal kind, you know, like graduation, wedding, um, things like that. And you see the 1111, right? What this is, is you go in and you celebrate this accomplishment, and it could be like a portal where you come out on the other side. And if you stop and think about, say, a graduation, right? The graduation party. It's all about, here you have been in school learning. Now you're graduating. And when you come out, it's like a new beginning, the new you. You have all this um, learning behind you that you get to put into action. Or say a wedding, right? You get married. Prior to, prior to getting married, you're the single person. You get married, you celebrate, you come out, you are a married couple. So it does not have to be that formal, but the point is, it is transformational, okay? But it is definitely a celebration. Okay, let's get another card. Whoa. Excuse me. Okay. 
Okay, the card is having a little bit of a challenge coming out. And for me, that means that it's a little bit difficult, right? Yeah. Okay, here you are walking away from whatever this is. Going to your happiness. So it could be that you're having doubts or having a hard time transforming. But this is beautiful. This is a powerful card. It's an action-oriented card. This is where you are going for exactly what you want. And there's great determination here. So it's a wonderful card to get. And it's coming out right under the Eight of Cups where you are leaving this behind and going for your happiness. So this is kind of like a confirmation of that. Beautiful. Now at the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Cups. And I can see where this fits in here. Mm -hmm. Here's these three cups that have spilled. And you still have two full cups behind you. These spilled cups are things that are gone. They're done. They're a memory. Or memories you know maybe very challenging ones who knows you will know that's who knows <laughs> okay um, but what this is saying is let it go it is in the past you need to turn around pick up these two cups that are still full in other words there is much here for you but if you're so focused on this challenging energy you might not see what is here for you, okay? So it's saying, turn around, pick up those two cups, and there's a bridge, right? You go across the bridge, and there's your castle. In other words, your happiness is waiting for you. Stop focusing on the challenges, challenging energies, because apparently some of them are in the past and are potentially hurtful memories. Okay, it's time to let it go. All right, let's get some clarifying cards. Let's get a card for the tower and the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. There are two cards of celebration in the tarot, and you have them both. Okay? So what this is saying to me, this is a more informal celebration where you're getting together with the people you love and care about, having fun, you know, laughing, celebrating, just spending quality time together. And I also feel like this is your support system. So what this is saying is this tower here is a good thing. Okay? It's going to bring in a lot of benefits for you to create this change. And it's going to be time to celebrate. Mm -hmm. With the people you care about. Okay, now let's get a card for the Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and the Moon. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, and just, oh, you have beautiful and beautiful lure. Okay, just to let you know, here's a 10 and here's a 10. This is an ending of the hard times. And here is this beautiful time where everything is wonderful, okay? So to clarify these cards, the challenging energies that you are going through and the moon which is saying feed the good side and use your intuition and here's the end to the challenges and dropping all the burdens it's being clarified by strength which is a wonderful card a wonderful energy this is where you are very strong you can do this okay and it's also very compassionate and loving which you need to give that to yourself. And you have death. And what this is is transformation. 
transforming out of these energies and into this beautiful energy, okay? So it's a wonderful clarification. You have the strength that you need to work through and flip the emotions to your positive state, okay? And ending this challenging cycle and starting the new cycle, transforming out of the challenge and into a wonderful new beginning. Okay, now clarifying the Two of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. You have the Five of Swords, okay? Now the Five of Swords talks about an argument. And what, it, what it's about is if there's an argument, the very best thing you can do is try to work it out, okay? If you can't do that, then try to agree to disagree. If you can't do that, then walk away. That is one version of this. Now, if it were in this deck, it, the image is like somebody's whispering in your ear. You know, so it could very well be an argument with self. But what, what it also can say is, you're the victor. So you're going to come out the winner. Or having solved the argument, you know, to your benefit. Okay? And you have the world card, and the world card is successfully completing a cycle, therefore beginning something new. So you have a few different cards here that are talking about getting rid of the old and bringing in the new. Okay? The tower does that. Abrupt change. Death does that. Closing out of a cycle and transforming into something new. Ten of Swords does that. The world card does that. So you have quite a few cards that are saying you're closing out of something and starting something new. And we have cards. Yeah, okay. We have one that fell. Let me get that. All right. So we have three cards to clarify. The Queen of Wands, very passionate mature, wise, who goes for what she wants and she's unafraid to speak up and be heard about it if that's what she needs to do. And this celebration, which is like a portal where you come out on the other side, you know, so many uh, of these that are letting you know you're going to be getting out of this. But you do have to take action, right? You have to have self-love. Okay? So here, the Knight of Wands, which is right under the Queen of Wands. This, all knights have a goal. This knight's goal is to go for their passion. Right? And it's a fast-moving knight. Here you have a new beginning, the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a new beginning, one that is going to be very profitable, very abundant. Okay? And it's what is abundant to you? What does that mean to you? Does it mean pentacles? If it does, it's wonderful. If it means happiness, wonderful. It can mean many things. But it's one here of abundance. And you have the Hierophant which is getting in touch with the divine. It's like your doorway to the divine, to the spiritual side, okay? So make for sure you include that in your efforts to go forward, right? One of the things that you can do that really is helpful but might be a challenge if you are in this energy is to either keep a journal or ground yourself. What I do is I love to take walks in the woods or in nature, and I will say to myself things that I'm grateful for. Yeah, and sometimes if you're in this energy, it can be challenging, but it doesn't have to be some complex thing. It can be 
you're grateful that the sun is out or you're grateful that there's rain or you can hear the birds sing but that does help you connect okay and at the bottom of the deck from taking those cards you have the star absolutely beautiful the star has a few meanings one it's a healing energy so if you need to heal from these emotions and thoughts the star is here to help you do that and also just kind of like what we would think of traditionally your wishes can come true okay it, it's here for you. Now you have to take the action. And I think this card really is key. All right? You need to include self-love enough that you can create these changes. Okay. Let's get another card. For the Eight of Cups and the Chariot, and both of those energies are moving on, right? They're both going for what they want. Okay. I don't know if it's all three, but I know it's this top one. It's all three. Look at this. Okay. Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups. So your Eight of Cups is clarifying the Eight of Cups right <laughs> and the chariot it's clarifying the chariot now how often does this happen it really doesn't um rarely how's that so this is very synchronistic i think you should pay attention to synchronicities in your life okay that are coming up it could be repeating numbers numbers in sequence finding the same type of item you know, at various places like feathers or whatever it may be, whatever has meaning to you. That is the universe letting you know that they are here for you or your ancestors or your family that's on the other side. They are here for you to help you. And they also say, um, when things like this happen, pay attention to what your thoughts are at that moment. Now, that one might be challenging to do because you're busy going, oh my gosh, look at this, right? Stop and think about what you were thinking about when this happened because that might have special meaning. And then on top of that, you have the Ten of Pentacles, which is right here, okay? So this is saying, yes, leave this behind. Go forward. It's a powerful time for you to do this. Mm-hmm. And the result is going to be beautiful, happy abundance. All right. Wow, that is just crazy. Oh my gosh, no, we're not done with the synchronicities. At the bottom of the deck from taking these cards, we have this card again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this to me is like, okay, this is potentially where you are or have been or might find yourself in the near future. This is how you take care of that and the results. We could just take this one column. It's fabulous. Okay. Wow, what a reading. Okay, so we're going to get some cards from the universe, but before we do that, I think it's kind of important to just quickly sum this up. If you were going through challenging times, there could potentially be an abrupt change. It will be up to you, I do feel, to initiate this, to start this. And um, of course, tarot's just about trying to be helpful and, you know, give advice potentially. It's all up to you. But I do think there's definitely something here. You need to love yourself, okay? Nurture yourself. Okay, let's read this one more time. Now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. Make yourself as much of a priority as you make those that you love. Okay? Take care of yourself. All right? I think that is 
making your dreams real. Getting out of those energies that are challenging and into these beautiful positive energies in your treasure island. This energy here reminds me of this, where everything is going to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. Treasure island, of course, can mean money, but it's happiness, joy. It's all the things that you treasure, right? So I think these oracle cards were so on target. Make for sure you include the spiritual part of this. That will help lift you up. Also, you learning will help you too. Getting out, closing out of this challenging cycle, and beginning the new cycle. The one where everything is filled with love, happiness, joy, what you're passionate about. Okay? And the choices. Make the right choices. Okay? And if a lot of this, or actually any of this, has to do with the past, let it go. And if you need to forgive, forgive. Because that will set you free in that area. Right? But it does definitely look like you are going to go forward with this. Yeah. Because there's so much transformational energy here. And celebration. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see what the universe would like to share. And um, it could be advice, confirmation, anything they want to share. Justice. Okay. This has a few meanings. One, this is saying, if anybody has done you wrong, you know, that contributed to this, Justice is here to help make it right. But also, the scales. This is saying you need to bring in balance in your life. Okay? So let's get a few more cards. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is the Four of Swords. This is talking about making yourself a priority. Just, you know, just like this Oracle card. You need to take a break. All right? Take care of yourself. Make yourself a priority. If there's anything that you're wanting to do, you need to go forward with that and do that thing. All right? Uh, if it's taking a rest, that's what you need to do. If it's a vacation, being silly and playful, whatever it is, make for sure you do that. This is definitely advice from the universe. Okay. Get another card. Do not hold on tight to these challenging energies. It will not serve you. Let them go. Okay, here is you focusing on these challenges. And here is the cup from the universe. The universe is saying, take the cup from the universe. Let this go. Let these challenges go. And let this new beginning happen. The one where you are a priority and you take care of yourself. Okay. Yeah. And at the bottom of the deck, we have death, which is right here. Okay. Transformation out of one energy and into another. So, have balance. Justice is with you. Make yourself a priority. Do not hang on to the challenging energies. Let them go. And this is just confirming that. Let them go and take the new beginning. The one that's filled with self-love. And of course, love for everybody that you care about, right? But don't deny yourself. You need to include yourself in that. 
and the very last card transforming out of the challenging energy and into the positive energy wow this is an impactful reading mm -hmm. okay let's close this out with a charm and no I don't look so it's all uh, wait there's two of them okay seashells this is just what I'm feeling from this okay this looks like an oyster so here it is on the outside looking a little rough right you open it up and there's this beautiful pearl in there so this could be a challenging time for you but by opening this up by changing it you're gonna find the beauty okay and also these live in the water and the water is all about love emotions okay and you have an apple and this might seem kind of um, surface value not that deep but what what I'm getting from this is what it talks about over here um, take care of yourself okay mind body and soul that includes eating right all right so emotions you are a beautiful pearl inside of this shell you need to get out of that shell and let yourself shine and you need to take care of yourself okay I truly hope this helps and I hope you have a wonderful July and much love Thank you. Bye now.